Hey, Odo Nation, I'm sitting here with Kristen Sierra Washington, and she is the first and youngest black woman in Greenville City Council history, and we're gonna discuss her story today. Where does your family come from? My family is born and raised in Greenville. Um, my, my father, he's from Greenville. Yeah, he's, um, I mean, he went to school out this way. He went to Jarvis Christian College, but for the most part, my family is from Greenville. My grandparents, uh, my grandfather's from Tyler, so. Did they originate here in Tyler and move out to Greenville, or do you know how far back your family history is from? Are they from another state and then immigrated to the East Texas area? Um, my mother's side of the family, they are born and raised Greenville, Texas, every generation. Um, my dad's side, I believe the same, born and raised Greenville, Texas, just that my grandfather moved from Tyler when he married my grandmother, who was he met in Greenville on the railroad. I know you told me beforehand that you work in your ministry and you're a Southern Baptist, correct? Yes. How important is God in your career, in your life, just overall? Oh, overall, he is number one priority. Um, I don't do anything without prayer, meditation, and some form of worship. I don't care if I'm going to a grocery store. I, I especially with nowadays, I go in and I sit in my car, pray. I get up in the morning, first thing I do is pray or I meditate or I listen to music. Um, so God plays a major, major role. And even when I meet people, I always say we didn't meet by chance. We met because it was God's divine intervention for me to meet you. That's very important. For me, um, God has been everything. You know, he, uh, he showed himself to me a couple of years ago and I said, okay, you know, Carl, he said to you, you know, Carlos, uh, I need you to, you know, wake up and realize that I gave you a gift and you need to utilize it properly, you know? Where did you go to high school? I went to Greenville High School in Greenville, Texas. What was the mascot? A lion. So it was Greenville Lions? Greenville Lions. What type of extracurricular activities did you do in high school? High school, I was volleyball, track, um, I played basketball the first two weeks of basketball, and then I quit because I couldn't do track and volleyball. Um, I tried out for cheerleading, made the team, but I quit the squad because I'm not a girly girl. You're not a girly girl? No, I don't. I can't do makeup and short so, skirts and cheers. Okay, so you're more of a tomboy. I'm very tomboyish. Okay. Was there a teacher in high school that made an impact on you as an adult now? Yes, uh, his name is Coach Jarvis, and he is now the principal of Rainbow High School. He is the one person throughout high school that, um, his nickname for me was Malcolm K. Um, I was the child in school. I did everything the opposite. Um, I questioned, I argued, I debated, and he always called me Malcolm K in remembrance of Malcolm X. So um, he always told me, never give up. I don't care what it is, you never give up. So I never gave up. Um, and I use his motivational words even through um, through life. And I had my kids, and it's weird because now my 16-year-old, he's my 16-year-old principal. So he tells my kids, I told your mom this, and it worked out, so. Okay, so shout out to- uh, Coach Jarvis. Alrighty. After you graduated high school, did you go to college? I did, I went to Remington College for That's, criminal justice. Okay, um, what made you choose that career path or that degree? I wanted to be a lawyer, believe it or not. Um, again, I like arguing and debating. Food, drinks, water, the sky can be blue and I'll argue that it's purple. You can argue about it. That's just who I am. Um, so I wanted to go into the criminal justice field because what better field to go into when you can argue with people? Criminal justice. So I did that and then I realized I don't like to argue as much. I want to help people. And I start looking at my own family um, and just remember growing up, you know, you see people go to jail, you see people who may be innocent, who do stuff. I wanted to be a part of making the change, so I stayed with criminal justice. Is that the, uh, did you graduate, and if so, did you go to graduate school? I did not go to graduate school, no. Okay. I switched fields completely. <laughs> what, what I went to, to medical, oh. medical assistant, so I did a whole 360. Um, but the reason that I did that was because I actually had a job for like three weeks at the Henry Wade facility, juvenile facility, and I couldn't do it. That's not who I am. Now, uh, you, 
you attended, uh, where did you go to college? I went for a medical assistant, I went to Everest College. Okay, and, uh, and for your criminal justice, where did you go? Remington College. Isn't that in the, in the Metroplex somewhere? Yes, Dallas Fort Worth. Okay, okay. Now, anybody that sees this, how do you feel about college? Do you feel that college serves a purpose for people of color? Do you feel that it's something that you need, depending on what you want to go, or what's your opinion on that? I would definitely suggest you go to college. Um, don't go to college based on what people tell you you should do. Um, that's hard, especially when everybody says growing up, oh, your dad's a lawyer, you should be a lawyer too because you, your dad's is in your blood. But you go to college and do what you want to do. College is the best time to experience and try out everything. I would suggest you go to college. You think that you want to be a mathematician, and then you realize when you get to college, you want to, I don't know, you want to be a professional photographer. Switch it. I mean, try and switch it. What, what can happen? What can go wrong? What are your opinions on trades? Trades are very important. Like um, plumbing, welding. It's, trades are very, very important. The reason why I say that because look at now. Um, a lot of jobs close down, and people who have trades have actually come out of the shadows and they're working and doing more. If you have a trade, you can use that any time of the year, um, any situation. The only thing that limits you with the trade is you. You will stop you with the trade. Hey, if you wanna hear more from Oro Nation, please make sure that you like, subscribe to the channel, but don't just stop there. When you see the little bell notification, make sure you click on that and you will receive all the notification whenever they post anything, whether it's a video, a conversation, something fun. You wanna make sure that you have the notifications turned on for this channel because it's something you don't want to miss.